I'm going to prove to you that there are an infinite number of primes. Now, the fundamental theorem of algebra, or F to O, -er, states that every integer greater than one is either prime or can be written as a product of primes. To do this proof, we're gonna use contradiction. I'm going to assume there are a finite number of primes. Finite, meaning I can list them. I'm gonna call it P1, P2, P3, all the way to Pn. It's a terminating number of primes. Now, using the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, I can find a number, n, which can be written as a product of all of these primes, p1, p2, p3, all up to pn. Now, I'm gonna do something cheeky here. All I'm gonna do is add one to n. n plus one becomes p1, p2, p3, all the way up to pn plus one. But can this be written as a product of the prime numbers that we already know? And the answer is no, because if you divide this number by any of the primes we know, we are always left with a remainder of one. For example, if I divide this by P2, this would cancel, but you would always be left with this plus one over P2. We are always left with a remainder, which means that this number cannot be written as a product of the primes that I said only exist. And this is a contradiction. So we state, this is a contradiction since when N plus one is divided by any of the primes we know, we are left with a remainder, which means n plus one is a prime number which didn't exist in our original list. Nice. 